We've got a box from Washington State, so that means maybe some estimated wheat cents. We'll have to see. It's another box from Jim. As part of our trade, we did get two of those customer wraps and two of the bank wrapped ones. And I've already popped the top and it's definitely all accounted for and ready to hunt. So I want to thank Jim for this. We know it's not going to be an epic box like those customer wrap rolls were, but we still might score something cool like a variety, extra wheat cents, you never know. Anyway, thanks Jim. Let's get to hunting this penny box from Washington State. Hey everybody, it's Rob with Rob Finds Treasure. And that's right, we've got a penny box from Washington State. Hoping to find a lot of estimated cents to look through. Hoping to find maybe a variety this time. But at worst case, hopefully there's a good amount of wheat cents in here. And maybe we can score another Indian head scent because I do love finding those, even though it's far and few between. Now I'll be using my Lincoln Penny Coin Hunts mat and my scope as normal. And if you guys would like links to those, I have them down below. We're not gonna talk too much in this intro. We're gonna get right into it and see what we get. I'll bring you in on my first find. It's only uh, roll three and we've already got our first wheat scent. Saw it obverse facing. It's a pretty chewed up 1956 Denver, but we're on the board. Same roll, just about five coins later. A 1951 Philly. Two wheat cents already in the box. We're on roll five. We're already gonna have wheat scent number three. This one's reverse facing. And I think it's a 51S. And it is. So two 51s, one from San Francisco and a 56 Denver. We just grabbed roll number six out of the box. We already have three wheat cents. And when I flip this roll over, sure enough, there's a 1940 something S right there. It looks like it could be a 45 S as a wheat penny ender. Wheat penny ender, 1945 S, oldest of the box. And I'm keeping you here because this one looks pretty old as well by the color. And it is 1957 Philadelphia wheat cent. Five wheat cents in our sixth roll so far. Could be another one. Roll seven and we have our first Canadian scent. I won't be filming them all. I'll only film the ones that matter, but it's 2010, a couple of years before they stopped minting them. We'll take it. Canadian scent number one. Roll number eight, wheat scent number six. 1952 Denver. Well, we're on roll number 10 and we're already gonna have our seventh wheat scent of the box. We're on a hot streak. We're on pace for 35. Don't know if I'll get that, but I'll take that start. It's another 52, but this time San Francisco. We'll take it. Roll 14, wheat scent number eight. Looks pretty nice, probably in the late 40s or 50s. 53S. Roll 16, wheat scent number nine. 1946 Philly. Same roll and towards the back of the roll, wheat scent number 10, 46S. 10 wheat cents. 16 rolls. Roll 17, broken record, another wheat scent. Number 11 already, 1935, oldest of the box. Roll number 18, and we've got a dozen Wheaties already. This one, a 52 Denver. Got a few of those, but we'll take more. Roll 20, opened up the wrapper, flattened them out, and out jumped a wheat scent. It's just waiting to be freed. Another 1951, and I believe that is Denver. Wheat scent number 13. Same roll, grabbed a couple of coins off the top and uh, say hello to my little friend. Wheat scent number 14. Another 51, but this one an S once again. I think we have a Philly, a Denver, and two S's. Got all three mints from the 1951 year. Still the same roll, hunting through them, flattening them back out, and another one that looks older just popped out. That's gonna be three in one roll and wheat scent number 15 of the hunt. 
It's older, but it's just a 42. Would have been nice if it said 43, but it doesn't. We're on roll 21 and wheat scent number 16 could be a nice one. It's got a little bit of red brown tint to it and I see full wheat ears. Let's take a quick look at the reverse. Yeah, not a bad one, probably late 50s. Yep, 1956D, looks pretty nice. Let's put it under the scope. Wanna check for that D over shadow D. And I don't see the D over shadow D or any of the D over Ds. A little bit of damage on the one, but still a very nice wheat scent. I'll take it. Just a little bit of red poking through, but it would still be a brown scent no matter what. Not enough red to call it red brown. Either way, nice one. I'll take it. 16. We're on roll 31, and after the hot start, it feels like ages since we scored a wheat scent. We've been stuck at 16. But we have number 17 now, and it's a 1944D, which I get to check for the D over S. And, uh... That's not going to be it. But we'll take a 44 all day. Wheat scent 17. Roll 33, and the box is officially old enough to vote. We've got number 18 right here. A 1954S to boot. Roll number 36. Wheat scent number 19. We might hit 20 on the box. And that's a pretty nice 1944S. If I saw there's some nice luster to it, could be cleaned. No, no, it's not cleaned. It's a little more damaged than I thought on the front, but it looked like it had some pretty good ears. Yeah, not too bad. We'll take it. For a 76 year old coin, I'll take it all day. Roll 41 and in the bank wrap roll of pennies, we're gonna have a dime. Nineteen seventy-five D would have been nice to be a nineteen seventy-five S proof, no S, but we'll take it. We just made nine cents. As I was grabbing that dime, I noticed we had a fat edge, so I slid them forward to look at it, and I see the back of a wheat cent. So we will have number twenty, and it's another forty-four, but this one Philly. We'll take it though. Well, it's time to take this penny box out for our first cold one. We just found wheat scent number 21, and I think I see 22 and maybe 23. Let's grab 21 out for sure. I saw the wheat ears. 1946 Denver. Wheat scent 22. 1958 Denver. And... Oh, the relief looks a little higher than I thought. 62D. Well, we got 22 wheat cents so far with six more rolls plus this one to sort. Roll 45 and Michael Jordan's number is now on the board. Number 23 of 52S. Roll 49 and we're gonna make it to wheat cent 24. 1949S. Can we get one more for 25? And for those wondering, my record bank box not including that epic 540 something wheat cents that were in a bank sealed box is 27. We have not got north of 27. We just hit 24. I highly doubt we're gonna get four more to beat it or three more to tie it, but I thought I'd let you know that. All right, let's get back to the hunt which is almost over. Well, we finished that bank box of pennies from Washington State, and it was a dandy. We got 24 wheat cents, which is up there with one of my highest boxes, and I will take it. Plus, we got a great assortment of 50s and 40s, including the oldest being a 1935, so nothing extremely old, but we'll take it. 24 wheat cents in a box, can't get mad at that. We also netted nine cents for that dime. We got five Canadians. A 1970, a beautiful 77, a 78, an 81, and that 2010 we kicked off the box with. We scored 459s, which I'll check for the RPMs because there are quite a few Denvers. And then for bright and shinies, 
a beautiful 65 and 68 both minute in Philly, a 72 Philly, a 72S, a 73 Philly, a 74 Philly, a 74S. The 74S is not in as great a shape as I normally like, but it's a 74S and they're hard to find, especially in that condition. We did get two 69S's, of course, no DDO's and lighter than I wanted, but still not that bad. Speaking of light, the copper was light for that box. It's weird, very little copper in the box, unless it was a wheat set. Hopefully you enjoyed this hunt. I know we didn't get any oldies and I know we didn't get any varieties, but it was still a fun hunt for me and hopefully it was for you. If you did enjoy it, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. And as always everyone, happy hunting and thanks for watching.